welcome back to NBA Value Plays for FanDuel and DraftKings. Today it is the December 28th. The year is almost over. Um, and if you're like me, you're probably kind of hoping it comes quicker uh, with the loss of Princess Leia and, um, you know, just so much crazy stuff going on this year that uh, it just feels like we're all kind of ready for 2017 to begin and uh, this kind of crazy year to end. So, anyways, tonight's a nice 10 game slate. Um, uh, it's an interesting slate for sure. There's plenty of top options here, as always, but uh, it's going to be interesting with no Westbrook or Harden um, available. It's going to make uh, the bigs, I think, very, very um, important and high owned today when you got guys like um, Anthony Davis and Demarcus Boogie Cousins on. Um, the slate kind of has the top options along with guys like Carl Anthony Towns. Um, so big men, I think, are going to be kind of the, the key here, and you're going to probably be looking for value elsewhere. Um, as always, you know, kind of at the small forward uh, shooting guard positions are kind of your top two spots uh, with plenty, plenty of value and depth at point guard, as always. Um, there's just so many options at point guard each and every night that uh, it seems like a tough position to pay down in, um, in a lot of nights, but tonight could be one of them where you could find some good value. Um, with that, it's bright and early here. Furnace is broken, and I'm dealing with a terrible cold, so uh, pardon my voice once again this week. Uh, it hasn't cleared up. It just is kind of getting worse, so um, we'll just kind of hammer through this here and hopefully help you out, get started to your day in some lineup building. Um, as always, stay tuned for the NBA GPP green light, which I'll be writing coming out um, later this afternoon. That should have some solid information for some nice tournament plays as well as some good value picks in there. Um, and, you know, as you know, with NBA, you just got to follow it throughout the day, um, especially now we're up to tip off to really succeed. Um, you just got to stay on top of injuries, starting lineups. Um, so this morning, uh, it's really early here, so it's um, very important to make note of that, that these guys are value picks as of now. Um, their value could skyrocket even more with injuries um, or if they're getting a start or anything like that. So uh, pay attention to that stuff. Don't just lock these guys in and not follow up on anything. All right, point guard position will start off. I'm starting off with Ty Lawson here on the Kings. Uh, he's going up against the Blazers tonight. He's 4,800 on FanDuel, 4,200 on DraftKings. Um, there's no line yet in this game, as far as I can tell. So, um, again, something to make note of. It's probably some injury news they're sitting on here. Um, but at 21.94 usage rate, he's um, been playing very, very well. Um, and he's averaging just under a fantasy point a minute. So I have can't help but consider him. You know, he's only he only played 20 minutes in his last game, but he still produced 25.5 dra DraftKings points. Um, prior to that, he'd played more minutes. He's kind of eating into Darren Collison's playtime because uh, he's just shooting the ball so well and playing so well. Um, so he's definitely worth a look here, and I think he gets overlooked a lot. Um, at his price, it's, it's a great value play. Uh, prior to his last dud, kind of, of 20 minutes, um, he played 26 minutes or more in three of his last game, um, and he produced 29.25, 28.25, and 32.5 DK points. So... Um, you know, as long as the shot's falling, he's going to get some run. Um, so you can't overlook that. Um, tonight, let's see, we got him projected at 19.6 points on DraftKings. So at 4,200, you can't really go wrong there. That's, um, you know, not terrible value play. Not great, but he's got a high ceiling like we saw um, if he gets the minutes and is shooting well. The other option is Emmanuel Mugier of uh, the Nuggets facing off against my Timberwolves. Uh, he's 4,800 on both sites. Um, you know, all values come at risk, especially at point guard. Mujie is the definition of risky every night. Um, right now we got him projected to play 29 minutes. Um, but his usage rate of 21.6 is nice enough that I think, um, you know, as long as he gets those minutes, if not a little bit more, he should be a solid play once again. Um, you know, he's capable of producing fantasy points too. Um, you know, he's put up 27 plus in four of his last six games, but he also had two clunkers in there. Um, so it's like either, you know, sky is the limit with this guy or really, really low floor. So, um, you're going to be taking a risk if you use him, but Minnesota, uh, isn't the best at guarding point guards. It should be a pretty up-tempo game. 
Um, so I'm I'm thinking Muji will make a, a solid enough play tonight um, at this price of 4,800. Um, we got him projected for 28.4 DraftKings points at this moment. Shooting guard. Malcolm Brogdon qualifies as both a point and shooting guard. Um, I'd probably be playing him in the shooting guard spot tonight just um, if, if you're going to be using him. Uh, 3,800 on FanDuel, 3,900 on DraftKings. Uh, Brogdon, um, he played the Wizards back-to-back, -back and he only had 10.25 DraftKings points in his last game um, in 23 minutes. But the game prior to that, he produced 35.25. He just crushed them. And the game uh, before that, 33.75. So um, Brogdon is playing very well, and he's getting minutes. Um, he's kind of eating into uh, Matthew Della Vadova's playing time um, and playing alongside, you know, the Greek freak. Um, he's been playing very, very well. So um, I think at this point I'm, I'm going to keep rolling him out there at this price um, and just, you know, hope he gets 25-plus minutes. Um, as long as he's shooting like he is, which is crazy, 58% from the floor, um, you know, right now he's a guy with a pretty high floor. Um, you know, four or five X floor over his last four games. So I think uh, Brogdon's a great shooting guard value play tonight um, in this game. Jody Meeks I have on here right now. This one's really important. Like I was mentioning, injury news, you got to keep up on that. Um, this is solely, solely based on if Evan Fournier plays or not. Um, you have him playing about 27 minutes right now, and he's projected for 23.22 DK points. Um so he's 4,400 on FanDuel and 3,900 on DraftKings. Uh, Jody Meeks is a good name to follow, and if a Fournier is out, he's going to be a pretty popular play, um, especially at this position tonight. Uh, the Hornets rank 18th in DVP, and uh, you know he should be a solid enough play if he gets the minutes. Even if he, even if Fournier is back, he might be limited. So uh, Meeks can produce in, in limited time. He has 25.25 and 21.25. Uh, his last two games without Fournier, so um, yeah, Fournier's out. I'm going to be playing a lot of Jody Meeks tonight. Small forward Marcus Morris. Uh, I can't get away from the Morris brothers, but this time I'm going with Marcus. Uh, he's facing off in that same Bucks game. 4400 on FanDuel, 4600 on DraftKings. Uh, Morris had a pretty good game against Cleveland at home in his last outing. Um, he put up 31.25. On DK, so um, that's some really nice production. We've all kind of seen uh, Morris's ceiling uh, before, but we also have seen those clunkers and those games he gets into foul trouble. Um, you know, he could do that tonight. You just never know. It's it's really kind of a risky play each and every night with the Morris brothers, either of them. But tonight, Marcus, I don't know. They're the the Bucks are right in the middle of the road. They're thirteenth ranked DVP, uh, but I think Morris should be getting in line for plenty of minutes tonight, 36 plus, um, you know, when he stays out of foul trouble, isn't a stretch at all, um, we got him projected for 26.4, um, DraftKings points tonight, so that's right around 5x, um, with a higher ceiling, and obviously, like we were saying, a much lower floor, but I like Morris enough that I'd be willing to plug him in. Uh, the other option here is Alan Crabb of the Blazers, um, in Sacramento tonight, 3,600 on FanDuel, 3,700 on DraftKings. Uh, this play is very, very risky, It's but it's all about minutes. He's playing 32-plus over his last five games, um, you know, and he's not averaging a ton. He's at .6 fantasy points a minute, but, um, you know, if the minutes are there and the play is there, I think um, that always kind of makes an appealing value play um, with, you know, enough potential to, to meet value. And at 3700 3600 um, price tag, you're not looking for much. Um, you're hoping for that 15 to 18 point uh, performance, which I think you can do. Uh, if you're able to monitor through the day, another option actually would be Tyreek Evans. Um, he's back. He's been playing pretty good, but on limited uh, minutes. If there's an announcement or anything like that, somehow that the restrictions can be removed, uh, Tyreek Evans at this at his really, really cheap price is hard to pass up um, and if that's the case if you hear anything or if I hear anything I'm I'm gonna be plugging him in um, across the board at only four thousand dollars on DraftKings so uh, keep an eye on the Tyreek Evans news as well power forward 
I'm looking at Nikola Mirotic, the Bulls versus the Nets. 4,500 on FanDuel, 4,600 on DraftKings. Uh, Mirotic is the definition of hot right now, uh, and his minutes are just going up along with his production. Um, and then the best part is he's playing the Nets, the worst team uh, in DVP pretty much across the board, uh, you know, point guard to center position. So Mirotic is in a very, very good spot tonight. Um, there's always risk, of course, that his minutes could somehow get reduced, but if he keeps playing the way he has been, shooting the ball well, hitting threes, there's no way, um, you know, there's going to be a dramatic decline in his minutes tonight, um, you know, aside from maybe a blowout potential. But I think the Nets are consistent enough that they'll keep it close for three quarters, and uh, Miritic should be a very, very good spot tonight. Uh, three games in a row with over 29 DK points, and he's averaging 1.05 fantasy points a minute. So even if he only plays 20 to 25 minutes, he can easily meet value, um, and it, as we've seen, exceed value. Um, uh, f for that 4x, 5x uh, mark that you're kind of looking for. Uh, the other option is Terrence Jones. I think people may be off of him because he missed the game with an illness and he only played 12 minutes in his return um, and didn't do very well. Uh, but now he's had another day off. I think he's well rested and he had been playing a lot alongside Anthony Davis in his last two games prior. Um, he played over 30 minutes actually and he produced 28.5, 34.5 DK points. Um, in those two games. Tonight he faces the Clippers, who are a very good defensive team, but without Blake Griffin, uh, Jones is in a pretty good spot, and they're actually ranked 28th um, in DVP. So uh, Terrence Jones may be a sneaky value play, um, like I said, after his last game, but we got him projected to play 24 minutes tonight. Um, and, you know, as we saw before, if the shots are falling, he's playing well. Uh, he's got the potential to play 30 plus, so. Terrence Jones makes a nice power forward value play tonight. And lastly, to wrap it up here, we'll go look at the center position. I'm going for Rolo here, another bowl against those uh, atrociously defensive um, team, the Nets. Uh, 4,700 fan duel, 4,800 on DraftKings. Um, you know, just attacking the Nets is happening here again. Uh, and then if you're into storylines, Lopez is facing off against Brooke Lopez, his brother. Um, so... That always makes, you know, interesting storylines. Sometimes players come out and play a little harder or maybe see the ball a little bit more for things like that. Um, the Nets, as I mentioned above, are pretty bad. They're ranked 28th in DVP um, against position. And Lopez is kind of up and down. He hasn't really had a huge game in a long time. But his floor is high enough, like, you know, that 14 to 15 DK point range um, with a lot more upside than most centers that at this price it's worth the risk tonight I think um, the Nets just have not been good defensively so I think Lopez should be should be able to attack and get some good good points tonight uh, 28 and a half we got him projected for on DraftKings all right so with that I will let you guys go I wish you all good luck uh, and if you got a little chance to throw in a little prayer that I get my voice back and start feeling better that would be great as well but uh, nice slate tonight compared to last night's atrocity, uh, four game slate. It was just a really interesting night. Um, didn't do terrible, but thankfully played light. So, um, with that, I will let you guys go and yeah, stay tuned to dailyfantasycafe.com. We just always have great stuff posted there. Uh, minutes to win it. The optimizer has just been really good optimizing, le uh, lately, especially if you're using it correctly. So. Um, yeah, just stay tuned and good luck.